There it is. Okay. This week's book is Do Unto Otters. Have you heard of this book? No. No? Luke, I see something said. Brindley, you have? Have you read it before? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I never read that before. I don't know what don't know what it's about. Okay, well, this is great, Eli, because we can make a prediction. So it's called Do Unto Otters. It's by Lori Keller. So look at the picture on the front. And you too, Luke. Who do you think our characters might be in this story? Go ahead, Eli. The otters. The otters, good. How many otters do you see? Three otters. Good. Three. One, two, three otters. What other characters do you see on the cover? Luke, what do you see? I think it's right there about the otters are doing something weird. Hmm. That's a good prediction. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. What kind of animal is this? A bunny. A bunny. So we have otters and a bunny. Maybe the otters are doing something. Brindley, can you tell me what this animal is? An owl. An owl. We just learned all about owls. So we have owls, rabbits, and otters. Hmm. Maybe they're doing something. Eli, do you know anything about otters? Do you know where they live? They do. You are correct. And they, make, and they make sometimes, and I think sometimes they make nests underground. Yes, yes, they do. So maybe, maybe your book will play, take place somewhere near water. Maybe we'll yeah, see an otter nest. Yeah, because I see water right here. Along the bottom? Yeah, yeah. a little lake. Yeah, very good. What about rabbits and owls? Brindley, do you know where they live? Owls, the owls? Uh-huh. Owls, owls and rabbits. Trees. In trees, good. So if there's an owl in this book, do you think oh. there's probably some trees? Yeah. Yes, very good. Okay. Oh, Eli, you're making a lot of noise right now. Thank you. Smart animals. Yes, good. So from what I hear is that you, we have animals that live in trees, we have animals that live in the water, so maybe our story takes place in a forest with a river. Maybe that's our setting. Character setting. Luke, uh, Luke already told us what he thinks the otters might do. What about Brindley or Eli? Do you have any idea what might happen in the story? Do unto otters. What? Any idea? Any idea what might happen in the story? What's this story called again? Do unto otters. A book about manners. I think they're going to try to learn how to be nice, I think. Okay. I'm going to write these things down. I forgot. All right. Actually, I think they're nice. You think they are nice? Uh-huh. Okay. Um, I think they're both. I think both. I think they're going to be learning how to be nice or, or they're just going to be nice. I pick both because I don't know. All right. So you think they're either going to learn how to be nice or they are nice. Mm -hmm. I think it both. All right. Well, those are good predictions. We'll see after we read which one is right, if either one is. And Luke said the otters will do something. Any idea what they might do, Luke? Can you give me a little bit more detail there? Um, I think they might do 
Um, I think he yeah, might um try to try try and be nice. Um, or um, I can try and do nice. Okay, very good. Good predictions. All right, you guys. That is it for today. We're going to save reading the story for tomorrow and Thursday. So that's it. Bye, Luke. I'll see you all tomorrow. Hi, Miss Okay. See you tomorrow, Eli and Brinley. Thank you for staying for the read aloud. Bye.